Here are some tips for your first assignment. The first assignment is a discussion board and you will analyze two visuals from a Prezi. So the first thing you want to do is go to content and open up rhetorical analysis as that's our first essay and we'll get to it at some point and click on the visual analysis folder. Again you'll see several files. These are notes. There's visual analysis, optic. Optic is a strategy on how to analyze visuals. And then there's questions that will help kind of guide you through the presentation. And so you open both of these up. Go back. Open up the Prezi questions. And let's just look at these quickly before you begin. Here's the visual analysis notes. Optic helps to break the visual down into parts. So the O is just a brief overview of the image. What is the image about? P stands for the parts, and this could be the color or the textures. These are really the elements of design, and there's more notes on that at the end of this page. T is title. There's a title. It, uh, it's helpful to look at the title. It might be symbolic and give you some more insight into the work. Eyes enter relationships between the parts, how are they related, how do they connect as a whole, and the C would be a conclusion, and that's where you uh, look at the questions of rhetoric. What's the writer, or in this case, the artist's purpose? What does he want us to understand about the topic? What is his attitude? Do we trust him? Is he credible? And if you scroll down, here are some more details and terms. These are the elements of design. And so in some of these images, you might want to consider the focal point or the color. Or is it monochromatic? Is there one color that stands out more? How are, is it organized? And just consider how your eye moves across the image. So these notes are essential to uh, analysis and you need to look over them before you begin. Also, here are some questions for the Prezi that you can consider as you're responding in your discussion board and to help you understand the presentation a little better. Now we'll go to the presentation. We'll make it a full screen. Here we go. Analyzing visuals. So as you look at each image, be sure to consider the purpose. How does it make you feel? What do you see? What are the elements? And do you trust the artist? These are paired images. And so first we have this. It's a photograph. It's titled Raising the Flag on Iwo Jima by Joe Rosenthal. And if you look at, just use optic as your guide, you can t talk about the overview of this image or the soldiers planting a flag. Um, but look at all the details. Where does your eye move? What is the focal point? What do you notice? A lot of people would say that the American flag is the focal point, it's in the center. There's this light of the sky in the background behind it. And also this line, it draws our attention down to the soldiers. And we can see them working together and all the rubble and just the kind of empty, sparse background. So those are the things that you need to consider in responding to this. And most important, you need to talk about what is the photographer's purpose. What is he trying to do for us? Is he trying to elicit emotions or certain emotions from us? What are those emotions? And um, do we trust him? Okay, we're going to look at the next image. The next image is very similar to this previous image. In fact, this photograph is a comment on raising the flag at Iwo Jima. So, what do you believe is the focal point of this image? And a lot of people will say it's the pump jack. It goes down at an angle, very similar to the flag, and it draws our eye to the soldiers who are working together. Yeah, they are working together for a very different purpose, and so that is kind of the comment that the artist is trying to make. So what is he trying to say about uh, American society? And uh, what is his purpose? Do we trust him or her? And you want to consider the elements as well in this image. And so it has 
has the sparse background. It does have some pump jacks scattered throughout the scene. But just keep this in mind, the focal point and the artist's purpose. Let's move on. There's a very patriot patriotic image. We have the American flag in the background. We have these iconic American symbols. Declaration of Independence. So again, how does this all work together? What is the artist trying to say? What is he trying to do for us? What is his purpose? Um, what emotions is he trying to evoke in his viewers? And do we trust him? Here's an image that you can compare that flag to. This is a flag by um, Adbusters. It's a corporate American flag, and this sends a completely different message with these icons. And so, what do you notice about this flag? What stands out? What's the focal point? And the rhetoric. What is the message? I'll just go through these. Here's an advertisement that you can compare. This is Shaquille O'Neal and his mother. And so, if you were to analyze this, again, you look at the elements of design. First of all, it's an ad, so you know it has a purpose, it's trying to get us to buy something. But just look at the details, I mean even like the V of his shirt points down to the milk and the mustaches. And you would want to talk about or discuss the relationship between the two people, uh, mother and son. And the color scheme is kind of this very calming palette. Why does the author choose it to be that way or the photographer? And you can compare that to this advertisement. Again, it has two people in it, so you would discuss the relationship between the two people. And this one has some nice little details that's important to notice, like the face of this. It's like the face of a clock. And it, again, has a different purpose. Of course, it's to sell us something, other viewers, to sell the viewers something. This is a different context or time period, and so that's something else you would need to consider when you're analyzing rhetoric. This is in 1927, so what's going on at that time period? How would this relate to it? And finally, we're going to look at some art. This is a painting. It's called The Gleaners, and it's from a realism period, and so one thing that you would consider in this painting is what is the people, what is their relationship to nature? Okay. What are they doing? Where does your eye move? What do you notice in the background? And what is the painter's attitude about this subject? And it would be nice to compare this to this painting. This is from a, the Romantic time period. It's called Kindred Spirits. Again, you have people in nature, but it's a very different relationship. And what do you notice about this painting? What about the people? and how they interact with nature. So those would be some of the things that you'd want to consider. That's the end of the Prezi. Once you've viewed it, taken some notes, what you'll do is go to the class page on the discussion board. Here's the very first form. It's called Prezi Visuals. And your assignment is to select two images from the Prezi to compare and contrast. And you really need to discuss the artist's purpose in each image. How does he convey this purpose? And look at your elements of rhetorical analysis notes. So you would want to consider the context, which is the time period. You want to talk about the audience um, and the strategies. Okay. Perhaps you want to even talk about the elements of design. You will have one response for each image, and each response must be 200 words or more. And plus, you must respond to two of your peers. And again, this is the writing does need to be formal writing. It should be in present tense. It should not have contractions or you. And when you respond to one of your peers, it should be a helpful response. It's probably three to five sentences where you comment on the, his or her observation and maybe offer suggestions or point out things that you notice that perhaps your peer did not. That's it. Good luck.